In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a Cardano wallet so that you can participate in Cardano DeFi and Cardano NFTs. Welcome aboard the Bitcoin Express. My name is Chase. Let's get to it. There are three main wallets for Cardano. The first one is Ada Light. The second is Daedalus Wallet. And the third is Yeroi Wallet. And out of all of these three wallets, my favorite one is Yeroi Wallet. I believe it is the best one and the easiest to use in my opinion. And whenever using any of these wallets, it is extremely important that you are going to the correct website or the correct app. Because if you go to the wrong website by mistake, you may end up on a phishing site. A phishing site is a site that looks just like the real site or the real app, but it's actually controlled by a hacker and they can hack your money from your wallet in two ways. The first way is that when you go to a phishing website and you set up a new wallet, you'll actually be given a wallet that was already created that belongs to the hacker and you'll think that it's actually a new wallet and as soon as you deposit money into that wallet, a hacker will take it. The second way is when you go ahead and restore a wallet. Let's say you have a Cardano wallet and you got locked out, you got a new phone or maybe a new computer and you go to these websites to restore it you're going to give over your password or your seed phrase. But instead of actually creating or restoring a wallet, all you're really doing is giving that password or that seed phrase to the hacker. So always make sure you're on the correct website. So for Adalite, it is adalite.io. Dataless, it is datalesswallet.io. Always make sure, check the spelling. And for your Roy, it is yourroywallet.com. And when you go to yourroywallet.com, it will bring you to this link, yourroy-wallet.com. This is the correct website. So let's go ahead and set up a Yeroi. So here we are on the Yeroi website. And I do want to let you know that everything we're going to be doing here with Yeroi will basically be the same process for Adalite or a Dataless wallet. So we're going to select download for whichever browser we're using. Right now I'm on Chrome. I'm going to select Chrome. I am going to add to Chrome, add extension. Then I am going to select my, my language, English. I am going to agree to the terms of use. Over here, allow Cardano payment URLs. I am going to skip this. And over here, I'm going to create a new wallet. This is a restore wallet. This is if you already have a wallet created and you got locked out, a new device, and you're trying to get back in. But over here, we're starting from scratch and we're going to create a new wallet. We are going to select Cardano. Then from there, we're going to select create wallet. Paper wallet is more for a one time use, but we want to participate in DeFi and NFT. So we're going to select create wallet. And over here, we're going to give it a name. So we'll call this test wallet. And then we're going to give it a spending password. Then create personal wallet. And that spending password, by the way, is only a password once you're already inside of your wallet. It is not the ultimate password. What I'm about to show you right now is actually the ultimate password. These are the 12 word seed phrases and whoever has access to these 12 word seed phrases has access to your wallet. And what I'm showing you right now, this is only a test wallet, which is why you can see these recovery seed phrases. So if you want, go ahead. You have, the, you have this wallet if you want to go into it. There, there will be nothing inside of it. So you want to write these down offline. You do not want to store these online. Why? Because like we just said, if anyone gets access to these 12 words, they have your crypto and no one can save you. This is a self-custody wallet. You are in full control. So write these down offline. Nothing connected to the internet. Once you wrote it down, click yes, I've written it down, and then you're going to enter it here to confirm. Once you enter it, you are going to hit these check boxes, confirm, and now we have the wallet set up. So now let's go ahead and fund the wallet. So here I am in a different Yeroi wallet and we're going to fund it. So you're gonna head over to the receive tab and you're going to select this address over here. This is where you're going to send Cardano, whether it's from Binance 
or Voyager or Coinbase or any other exchange. So if I head over to Coinbase Pro, I'm going to enter this address and send Cardano to this address. And here I am back in Euroi. And if I go to transactions and scroll down to received, I see I received 42 ADA. That's about $120 worth of ADA at the time of this video. And I wanna give it to you guys. If you're still watching, I'm going to split this up between two people. So two people will each get 21 ADA. And all you have to do, it's very simple, is head over to my Twitter, the Bitcoin Express, follow my page and post your ADA address on this comment. And this Thursday, I will select two people randomly and they will each receive 21 ADA. And when I'm ready to send, I will head over to the send tab. I'm going to enter an address. I will select the amount that I want to send. Select next. And then I will enter my spend password. And this will be the same process for you whenever you want to send ADA to a new address. And everything we just went over was for desktop. But if you want to do it on your phone, that is also possible. If you go to the App Store, you will find Emergo Zeroi Cardano Wallet. And it is the same steps to set up. And also very important, again, do not store those 12 word seed phrases online. Make sure to write them down securely offline. Now, once you have the wallet set up, then you have to actually connect to DeFi. But as I make this video, we do not have smart contracts yet. We will have it very soon, but it will be the same process that we have for Ethereum and Solana. So once you have a Cardano wallet, you go to a Cardano DeFi website, you connect your wallet. Let me show you an example with Ethereum. Once I have a MetaMask wallet for Ethereum, I go to an Ethereum app, Uniswap, and I connect my wallet, very simple. Or let's say we are participating in Solana. I set up a Solana wallet. I head over to this app, solanart.io, and I connect my Phantom wallet. It will be the same process for Cardano. And if you want to learn also how to set up a Phantom wallet for Solana, go ahead and watch this video link right above and in the description down below. Thank you for listening and I'll see you next time.